What is going on, beautiful people? It is the obscurest tourist here. And today I come to you from, well, I would say it's the heart of downtown Toronto. It is definitely downtown, but it's not the heart. But where I am is nestled directly between two major roadways, the Don Valley Parkway to my left, and to my right is Bayview Avenue. And right down here, see that? This is an abandoned bridge, part of the old abandoned Canadian Pacific Railway lines that closed back in 2007. And it's a strange find because it's, like I said, it's right in the heart of the city. And I never even knew it was here. So, let's take a little journey, a little jaunt, because my ultimate goal here today is to find the Half Mile Bridge, which is a few miles away from here along these ferry tracks. So let's go, let's check it out. I am not exactly sure what the name of this particular bridge is, but uh, all the fanfare is given to the Half Mile Bridge, but I thought I'd give a little bit of love to this bridge. Like I said, I don't know what it's called, but I will, uh, I will research it when I get home and I'll put the name of it in the description below. And you gotta watch your step here because walking across this abandoned bridge can be a little treacherous. As you can see, there's some pretty big gaps. You're not gonna fall through, but you know, could trip and slam your head on these rails, these wrought iron rails. So be careful. So I believe that when these tracks were in service and trains were coming through here, the foliage and the trees, they would have been cleared. I don't know, I think I read somewhere it was around 200 feet to either side to avoid the old steam trains from potentially catching fire to the trees around it. And as you can see, nature over the past 14, 15 years has completely taken over again. And this is kind of all you're left with. Is this, and it's really neat. What a cool little pathway. As you can see, these have sort of become a natural walking path or an unnatural walking path, really. Basically, it's serving now as a second use for pedestrians who just want to get outside and explore nature beside that, a major highway. So this section of track, railway ties and the actual rail seem newer than the others that I've just been on, which doesn't make sense because if you look way down there, the tracks beyond 
this little bridge are pretty much forgotten. And right here, where I just came from, yeah, nothing's been through that way in a long time. So I've been walking here for probably about 15, 20 minutes and the foliage here is just getting thicker and thicker. But I looked on the map and it seems like I'm probably about a mile out from the half mile bridge. So I'm pretty excited. It's getting pretty hot. So that'll be a nice little respite. And what's this here? Oh, interesting. Someone, I won't name any names, but it's Douglas. Douglas is a bit of an a-hole. So much so that someone came out here along these tracks to spray paint that to make a point. What have you done, Douglas? I am no geologist. So I can't tell you whether this is quartzite or dolomite or graphite, but I can tell you that this is part of the original track ballast that was laid here along these tracks back in 1888. like I've stumbled upon a person's encampment here so I am going to tread tread a little lightly I don't want to surprise anyone but I am definitely from the wrong side of the tracks over here again one of the many things you have to be weary of when you uh, when you're going on these little adventures I just wanted to stop really briefly and show you a cool little find. Look at this. That is one of the original railway ties. And not only did I find one, but I found two. How cool is that? something pretty neat right along the tracks here this little outpost or what once was a little outpost and I assume back in the steam train era or whatever trains were running across these particular tracks back in the day they would have kept some buckets of water on the side to put out any fires don't quote me on that but uh, I am pretty sure that is what this is pretty neat and check it out. Could it be? Would it be? Can it be? Could it be the bridge we are looking for? And I'm gonna have to sadly say, it is not. We are only about halfway there. That is the Bloor Street Viaduct. And you can see one of the subways from the Bloor Line crossing the bridge right now. railway path up there was getting a little bit hairy 
and impassable, so I had to come down here to an adjacent path to circumvent all that, and this is also a little bit hairy. Check this out. Who is this? So I must warn you, when you're coming on this little walk, a few things happened to me here. Number one, I found a tick on my pants. So if you are walking down here on this trail and through the bush, be aware there are ticks here. Nobody wants Lyme disease, so check yourself before you wreck yourself. Number two, I got stung by a bee. A bee flew into my shirt and I thought it was, I don't, I don't know, I thought it was an ant. I'm swatting at it. Stung me right in the chestal section, right there. I don't know if you can see underneath all that hair, but he rocked me. Again, ticks, bees, and who knows what else is here. Just be aware. And I don't know if you can see this, a little out of breath, but we are starting to get a little bit of elevation, a little separation from the valley below. Let's see, Don Valley Pathway. And if that is the case, then my assumption is that we are getting pretty close to the Half Mile Bridge. Check this out. This is one of the old railway signals. Still standing. Hard to see the sun is there, but that's her. Let's take a peek inside. I'm sure there's nothing left. Yep, you can see the old cables severed. Nothing left for me to see. Hello. I gotta admit, I'm feeling like one of the boys in Stand By Me walking down these train tracks. But instead of looking for a dead body, I'm looking for a dead bridge. Ghosts of accidents past right here on the old railroad. Look at that. Some lights from a car, from a, an accident. That probably pretty violent if they made it down here onto the tracks. Still walking along the Waskanash Trail here and covered a lot of ground. A lot further away the bridge is than I anticipated. Probably closer to three miles. I actually thought it would be more like a mile away, but this walk is taking a little while. Pretty awesome though. Having a lot of fun. Are you? And you'll never believe it. There it is. The half mile bridge, which took much more than a half mile down these abandoned railway tracks to find. Just over to the left there, you can see another abandoned signal. Crazy. This sign tells me that suicide is probably pre pretty prevalent off this bridge. If we take a peek under this wire, you can see there's absolutely nothing. There's no fencing on the sides at all. And that is a, that is a fatal drop down to Bayview Avenue below. Not the kind of end to your life you want. So please, please everyone, if you need to talk, I'll put a number down below. So this is where 
my journey ends because even though there is fencing here, someone has cut a hole in the fence. So there is a way over, but I am not going to risk my life. I don't know how high the winds are when you get about halfway down there. So it's just not worth it. So I'm gonna send my drone over because I'd rather risk my drone than risk my life. The Canadian Pacific Railroad was founded in 1880 to complete a rail line across the continent and connect the provinces in the newly formed country of Canada. When the line was built, it passed through Leaside and Toronto West Junction, missing the city of Toronto entirely. Because of this, trains had to back up five miles from West Junction to Union Station and in 1888, the CPR was granted permission to build a spur line from Lee's side to Union Station along the west side of the Don River. In 1891, the freight train ran along this track into Toronto with passenger service starting the following year. A bridge was eventually built to cross the Don River Valley with one end being near Todd Morton and the other running past the Don Valley Brickworks. A steel trestle bridge 1,100 feet long, just under a quarter mile and 75 feet high was eventually constructed. The bridge picked up the nickname Half Mile Bridge early on, even though it's just half that length. By the late 1920s, trains were becoming heavier and a new bridge was required. As this bridge was the route of the Toronto to Montreal train, it was decided not to interrupt service. But how to accomplish this feat without actually disrupting service? Well, new concrete supports were built under the existing bridge and new sections of bridge were assembled on its sides. When the train left for Montreal in the morning, a crane would lift an existing section of bridge out. The new section would be lifted into place and secured before the train came back that evening. Finally, the old girders were removed. Half Mile Bridge remained in use until 2007, when the line was ultimately abandoned. I have to admit, this was awesome. I absolutely loved this. I loved it. I loved the walk. It was a little hot, but holy hell, did I have a lot of fun doing it. And I found something that seems like it would be pretty obvious, but not at all. Half Mile Bridge. I was thinking about going to the other side, but you know what? The other side it runs through the evergreen brickworks and I assume that it's just super touristy over there and I don't feel like dealing with people today. So I'll let you do it if you want, or you can retrace my steps here on the east side of the bridge, which is a lot more fun and a lot less people. For now, it is the Obscurus who are saying, so long, stay safe, and as always, stay beautiful until next time.